What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I want to talk about the number one reason why you're not winning at poker yet. Perhaps you're not seeing the results that you would hope for. I'm going to break it all down for you in this video. So having coached hundreds of students, especially in small stakes poker games, I can tell you without a doubt that the number one reason why most people don't win at poker, it's actually a shock to many people. A lot of people think it's because, oh, they're having problems playing some sort of technical way with their ace king, or they don't know how to play flush draws properly, or they're really bad at, you know, understanding the pot odds with their straight draws or something. And guys, as I've said many times in a lot of videos over the past couple years, most people play relatively good these days. In fact, you already know this yourself. If you play in small or mid-stakes games, it's really difficult to find a lot of people these days that like have no clue what they're doing. This is not 2005 anymore. People are not just throwing away, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars when they don't even know the freaking rules of the game. People have figured a thing or two out now. They're watching videos like this. They're reading poker books, studying poker training courses, hiring coaches, etc., etc. So what is the biggest problem that most people have these days? Where's the biggest relative skill gap? It's right here, guys. It's between your ears. It's what's going on in the moment when you face a bad beat, when you get adversity, when you get setbacks at the poker table, when you get your pocket aces cracked right before the final table. So how do we actually go about fixing this? Well, as I mentioned a lot in these videos on the channel here, and by the way, make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see more poker strategy videos like this. As I discuss a lot, you know, poker these days is really an entire lifestyle approach. The poker pros that I know and I know myself personally, we do not just sit down at the poker table and expect to win. That is simply an amateur approach to the game that is not going to be successful in today's more competitive environment. No, instead, just like a professional athlete, we're approaching this game from an entire lifestyle perspective. So for me personally, that starts every single day when I wake up going to the gym. As I've said before, I don't really take days off unless there's I'm, I'm traveling or there's some sort of an emergency or anything, I view getting to the gym right away and getting my, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes or an hour of strength training or cardio as absolutely vital to not only improving my physical well-being and stamina at the poker tables, but my confidence about myself, my tilt control, my stress management at the poker tables, which is going to allow me to handle bad beats and setbacks better than the next person who is not putting in this time. Hey guys, I just released my brand new Black Rain 79 Elite Poker University, nearly 17 hours of advanced poker training where I walk you through hundreds and hundreds of hand history examples showing you guys the proven poker strategies to start getting you much better results in your poker games. Whether you play this game as a hobby or you are an experienced pro, there is something for everyone in this course. I cover cash games, tournaments, Zoom, live poker, six max, full ring. If you like my videos here on YouTube, I think you're gonna love my Elite Poker University training. I've got deep discounts for the first week for early bird students, so make sure you take advantage of that today. Link in the description below. I look forward to seeing you guys there. Now, it doesn't just end at the gym. Diet is vitally important. I am extremely conscious about what I choose to put in my own body because once again, I know that I need to be able to react better in the moment than the next person. I can't be eating high sugar foods. I can't be drinking, you know, sodas that are gonna spike my insulin and make me more moody, for example, at the poker table. So my diet is absolutely tuned in with high quality whole grains, lean meats, vegetables and fruits to keep my mind stable throughout the day and allow me to handle the routine setbacks at the poker tables in a much more consistent manner. And finally, of course, sleep. All of this allows me to get eight hours of quality sleep each night, which again is going to help me tremendously in handling bad beats and coolers better than the next person at the poker table. Guys, the bottom line here is that real poker pros these days are taking this game seriously 24 
hours a day. There is this crazy kind of belief these days that is being perpetuated by a lot of coaches and other pros on the internet that they just sit down and play poker and if you just study these solvers or this GTO theory magically you're going to start winning. As it's just not the reality for real poker pros that I know for myself personally. I actually wonder with a lot of these other people if they even play the game for a living, if they even know what they're talking about because that is simply not the case. The biggest reason why people do not have long-term success in this game is because when they go on long downswings, when the bad beats start happening, they fly off the rails and they start playing poorly. They start getting on tilt. They start getting emotional and they start handing away large amounts of money by making hopeless calls, by making terrible bluffs. You know what I'm talking about. A lot of times they were even jumping up to higher stakes scams to play against cool, calm, rational thinking opponents and throw away even more of their money and digging their own grave in this game. What we should be teaching up and coming poker players these days is that the mental side of the game is at least 50% of the battle at the poker tables. In fact, I would put it at 90%. And that is why I spend so much time making videos like this that I don't see elsewhere. I don't see other poker coaches making because I want to give you guys the real truth about what it takes to succeed at the poker tables these days. Guys, you have to take this stuff seriously. Meditation is also something that I highly, highly suggest, you know, if you take poker seriously. Get yourself a good pair of headphones. I'm not sponsored. I'm not even going to name the brand. I'm not sponsored by this, but get yourself a good pair of headphones and learn how to start meditating both before and after poker sessions. Prepare yourself for the avalanche of bad beats that you're going to get every session. This is what I use my meditation periods a lot for, and this is what I instruct my students to do as well, is to already be prepared for the adversity before you even sit down to decide to play poker guys. If you already know your aces are going to get cracked three times today, then it's not going to be a big shock to you in the moment. You're not going to get all frustrated when it actually happens because we know it's going to happen sometimes, guys. And lastly, the worst thing that I see people doing these days is going and typing on the internet or telling their friends about their bad beats. Guys, these people have already lost the game of poker completely. These people have already lost their mind because they've allowed this game to get to them. These people have already mentally cracked and these are the people that I actually look for at the poker table to play against because they are absolutely these are the ones that are convinced you know everything is rigged against them they can never win you know I get the emails and the comments from these kind of people all the time and there is nothing you can do for these kind of people and all I can tell you is that if you're one of these people that is typing in your bad beat stories on the internet or something you need to stop that right now or just quit the game because that stuff is never ever going to help you in fact when you project your weakness which, which is actually exactly what you're doing when you do that, you are actually making yourself not only a target, because I look for people like this, but you are actually amplifying your feelings of frustration because studies have proven that when you voice whatever you're frustrated about, it just makes you even more furious about it. So guys, if you are in the habit of telling bad beat stories, cut that out, it's gotta stop. That is not anything that a professional poker player ever does. Honestly, you're just putting your weakness on display when you do that. But guys, my final thoughts with this video are to please take the mental side of the game seriously. You know, I know everyone wants that secret sauce these days, how to play your ace king better in three bet pots or whatever. Guys, honestly, you probably already know enough. You need to start spending more time on what I've been talking about in this video. This is what they're not telling you. This is what actual poker pros are doing. Guys, they're not studying solvers and charts all day long. Real poker professionals are taking this away from the table stuff seriously, because how can you ever expect to win long-term at poker when you're choosing to sit down in a game, when you're sleep deprived, you've been eating a bunch of McDonald's or other garbage food, you're frustrated, you've been driving in traffic, somebody cut you off, like seriously guys, if your head is just a complete mess, how do you ever expect to beat somebody who is cool, calm, and collected, who is in top peak mental shape, who has been meditating before the session against you? You're not going to stand any chance against somebody like that, guys. So 
Bottom line, if you really want real world-class results in this game, guys, you need to take this stuff seriously because this is what real poker pros are focusing on these days. And I think if you do this stuff, you'll get better results. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you found this video helpful, and I will catch you next week with more poker strategy videos. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been Nathan Williams with BlackRain79.com.